Unit Seven. Shall we go for lunch? Do you want to go for lunch? Yes, I am so hungry I could eat a horse. A horse, you say? Well, why don't we go for French food then? I was only joking. So, what do you fancy? Well, we can either go for Thai, Italian, or Chinese. Whichever one is cheapest and the quickest, because I want to get back here and finish this paperwork before the end of today. Well, the Thai restaurant is always the cheapest, but sometimes the food's slow. And the Italian restaurant has a good set menu, but it's about thirty percent more expensive. What about the Chinese? Oh, you know the Chinese. We always regret it every time we go there because we always eat too much. <sighs> so many choices. What do you reckon? Well, I'd quite like to go for Italian. Why? We just had Italian last week. Well, I'm in the mood for pizza today. Okay then. So shall you drive or I? Well. I think I'll drive. Your route decision making really scares me. Where are you going to park? Well, hopefully we'll be able to park outside the restaurant. We'll have to wait and see until we get there. Okay, let's go. Do you want to go for lunch? Yes. I am so hungry I could eat a horse. A horse, you say? Well, why don't we go for French food then? I was only joking. So, what do you fancy? Whichever one is cheapest and the quickest. Well, the Thai restaurant is always the cheapest, but sometimes the food's slow. And the Italian restaurant has a good set menu, but it's about thirty percent more expensive. So many choices. What do you reckon? Well, I'd quite like to go for Italian. I think I'll drive. Your route decision making really scares me. Unit eight. Weighing up the options. James, we have to make some important decisions regarding the location of the new plant. I know. I was just thinking about that this morning. Now we can place it either near to the airport for fast air freight links, or near to the river. For access to the ports and the sea. Well, in your opinion, what are the benefits of each? Well, if we're by the airport, then we can obviously use the air freight services, and our response time and delivery speeds will be very impressive. What if we establish ourselves by the water? Well, our response times and delivery speeds will be slower. But we will be able to deliver a much larger quantity of goods at a much cheaper price. That's right. Not to mention that real estate by the water is much more realistically priced. I don't think we could afford a large warehouse by the airport. What I thought might be a good idea was to set up the main facility near the river. And then a small office and storage facility near to the airport. Good idea. That way we can still ship products by the air, and we have the option of expanding in the future in that direction if there's enough demand. Why don't we get the bill? I want to get back to the office and make some phone calls. Whose turn is it to pay? I forgot. Well, how about this? Either you pay for lunch or for dinner tonight. The choice is yours. 
I'll pay for dinner tonight and you can take care of this. Done deal. James, we have to make some important decisions regarding the location of the new plant. I know. I was just thinking about that this morning. Well, in your opinion, what are the benefits of each? I don't think we could afford a large warehouse by the airport. Why don't we get the bill? I want to get back to the office and make some phone calls. Whose turn is it to pay? How about this? Either you pay for lunch or for dinner tonight. The choice is yours. I'll pay for dinner tonight and you can take care of this. Unit 9. Check this before we go, will you? Hey, James, uh, what day did we say we were going to the bookstore? I think I told you that we would go together on Tuesday. Okay, thanks for reminding me. I nearly forgot. <laughs> you do realize that today is Tuesday. Are you still free to go to the bookstore with me? Yeah, sure. I'm ready to go. I just needed to check with you to see when we planned to go. That's all. <laughs> Okay. Before we go, though, I need you to clarify these numbers with me. Okay. Have a look at the third column and tell me if you think the export estimate is right. Yes, they are. They seem to be correct. Uh, if we are expecting a 20% increase in export volume from 200,000 tons a year, then your calculation of 240,000 tons a year is right on? Okay, I thought so. I just wanted you to have a look at it to make sure that I hadn't made any mistakes. Um, can you take a look at the car allowance also? Yeah, these look good too. Let's see, if we have seven managers and the allowance is $15,000 a year, and your calculation of $105,000 a year is right. Okay, one last one for you. Our total company social contribution is 1% of our net profit. That's right. Do you think we should increase it? I think there's no need for that. Okay. Hey, are you feeling okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Maybe I'm just a little bit tired. All these numbers are making me feel very confused. I'm really afraid that I might make some errors. You do look a little pale. Why don't you go take a rest while I meet with Sue? That would be a good idea. Then, if this meeting goes well, we won't have to worry about working with numbers so much. And we can focus on more important things. That would be so nice. <laughs> hey James, uh, what day did we say we were going to the bookstore? I think I told you that we would go together on Tuesday. Before we go, though, I need you to clarify these numbers with me. I just wanted you to have a look at it to make sure that I hadn't made any mistakes. Can you take a look at the car allowance also? That's right. Do you think we should increase it? All these numbers are making me feel very confused. I'm really afraid that I might make some errors. 
You do look a little pale. Why don't you go take a rest while I meet with Sue?